There are, give or take, 8.7 million different species of animals sharing the planet with us. In other words, for every single individual living in New York City, there's a totally different, completely unique animal. You're more than aware of some of them, of course, but for every standard issue domestic house pet or common farm animal, there's a mysterious ghost bear, a unique unicorn of the sea, or a living, breathing, floating fossil. Some of those known species are still incredibly elusive, with few of them even thought to be extinct. Here are 15 wild animals that have rarely ever been seen. Oh, you can eat my nose. <laughs> Number 15. Rare Albino Cobra Slithering up first is this. Albino Cobras are extremely rare. Some cultures even regard them as sacred, but as a matter of fact, albinism is a severe disorder. For most albino cobras, it can be life-threatening as it leaves them without any camouflage, exposing them to predators and enemies. On top of that, add the health factors such as sun damage that might develop from having ultra-white skin. All in all, it definitely isn't easy to be an albino cobra. It would seem logical that these albino animals need our help and protection, especially if in captivity. But in some rare media stories, it's actually portrayed falsely that humans or other animals would need protection from the albino. A deadly albino cobra escaped captivity and ran loose for days in California recently. At least three Twitter accounts were open just for this runaway cobra, getting almost 300 followers by the time it was captured. TV reporters even showed the animal control officers in the midst of their chase using tongs to catch the white wonder. Priceless. I've never seen a, a cobra you know, out here, and particularly an albino cobra. You want to know a little secret? If you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you'll have superpowers for the rest of your life. So what are you waiting for? Time to fly. Number 14, the rare crusty Nautilus. What of this crusty creation? One of the rarest creatures in the world has been spotted for only the third time ever off the coast of Papua New Guinea. The creatures, which are thought to have survived two ice ages and predate dinosaurs, have only been seen by two people in the world, making them one of the planet's most elusive and unknown inhabitants. The rare crusty nautilus are living fossils of the oceans. Due to the distinctive shells that appear as fossils over a 500 million year period, Thus, survivors are revered by science. Unfortunately, it's this very popularity of the beautiful, iconic, spiraled, and internally chambered shells that threatens the most. More than meteors from space, atmosphere-polluting global volcanoes, or even long-enduring ice ages ever did. The shells are pricey. Now, rare crusty nautiluses face another challenge. Humans desire for metals found most abundantly on the seabeds these ancient survivors call home. And despite all these threats and the nautiloids' long history, fascinating discoveries are still being made about them. Rare, but very memorable. Number 13. Mountain Pika If you're triggered by cuteness, look away. Have a peek at the pika. For more than 20 years, the mountain pika, a tiny mountain-dwelling mammal with a teddy bear face, had eluded scientists. People have seen the furry critter only a handful of times since it was discovered by accident in 1983. In fact, people have spotted only 29 live individuals, and little is known about the animal's ecology and behavior. Finally, in the summer of 2014, researchers discovered the pika. The species' original discoverer and pika expert gathered a group of volunteers in China's Tian Shan Mountains for some pika hunting. At noon one day, as they were setting up camera traps, the team spotted their prize. A curious pika emerged from a gap in the cliff face. Scientifically known as Ochatona iliensis, the mountain pika live in holes between bare rocks over altitudes of 9,000 feet. They're used to living on the extremely cold plateau and feeding on herbs found in the Tian Shan Mountains. After the discovery, conservationists committed to take measures to protect the important mountain pika. How could you not? Pikas are so pretty and super important. Number 12, the Sayola. Is it an antelope? No, the sayola means spindle horns in Vietnamese. They're found in only one place in the world, the Annamite Mountains Forest on the border between Vietnam and Laos. Knowledge of this creature only extends back two decades to 1992. The identification of the sayola was the first large mammal discovery 
in more than 50 years and an extraordinary addition to the zoological catalog of the century. The appearance of the Sayola is akin to an antelope, though cattle are the closer genetic cousins. This unusual combination made the scientific classification so difficult that a new biological tribe was created. They're elusive and have only been photographed in the wild three times, which has earned the Sayola the title of the Asian unicorn. As a result, very little is known about these mysterious creatures. Loss of habitat is the main threat to their survival. Experts say that their only remaining chance of survival is the establishment of a captive breeding program. I wonder if they make great pets. Can you domesticate Sayola? Number 11. Binturong, the bear cat. A face like a cat, a body like a small bear, and a tail like a monkey. Tell me more. It's a binturong, also known as a bear cat. Binturongs live in the dense tropical rainforest of Southeast Asia and are not often spotted in the wild. The binturong belong to the Viveridae family, which is one of the most diverse of all carnivore families, and they smell like buttered popcorn. The binturong has scent glands, which are located just under its tail. As it moves about, the binturong drags its tail, marking branches and foliage in its territory. To humans, the smell is reminiscent of buttered popcorn. This is smelling like popcorn. It's true. But to other binturongs, it communicates that the area is occupied and they should move along. It can also help male and female binturongs find each other when they want to mate. The binturong uses the tail to communicate. It moves about gently, often coming to a stop and often using the tail to keep balance, clinging to a branch. The species is normally quite shy, and when threatened, the mentorong will usually flee into a nearby tree. But who would threaten these cuties? This is the first uh, successfully breed in captivity. Number 10. White Rumped Vulture Check out this apex animal. The White Rumped Vulture is native to South and Southeast Asia and is the most common and widespread vulture in Sub-Saharan Africa. Its wings can reach a span of up to seven and a half feet. This large scavenger is vital to its ecosystem. It only feeds on carrion, the carcasses of dead animals, and by eating flesh before it rots, the vulture prevents dangerous bacteria and viruses from growing on decomposing carcasses. Its stomach acids also neutralize pathogens, which limits the risk of spreading diseases to humans and other animals. By picking carcasses clean so quickly, vultures also suppress insect populations that are linked with eye diseases. Gross, but great as well. The white-backed vulture is very sociable, and it's not uncommon for as many as 100 birds to gather for a meal and strip a large carcass clean in approximately three minutes. Though usually silent, the vulture will make chittering and squealing noises similar to a pig when it approaches a carcass. They'll often venture into human settlements in search of dead livestock. Scary, but rare stuff for sure. Number 9. Lost Elephant Shrew you should know this, but elephant shrews are not, in fact, shrews. Check this out. They're more closely related to a group of African mammals that includes elephants, sea cows, and aardvarks. The lost shrew wasn't seen for at least 50 years before photographs and anecdotal evidence helped prove its existence. They take their name from their long pointed head and very long mobile trunk-like nose. When it sees a trail of ants, the elephant shrew darts toward the insects to snort them up. They have rather long legs for their size, which move in a hopping fashion like rabbits. They have a hunchback posture and a long, scaly tail. A gland on the underside of their tail produces a strong scent used to mark territories. This musky smell serves as a deterrent against many carnivores. This curious desert dweller, the size of a mouse, makes its home in the sweltering heat of northeastern Africa. Elephant shrew's distribution is limited to highly fragmented forests, which limits their access to available resources and makes finding a mate more difficult, resulting in restricted populations. So the lost elephant shrew is also lonely. Number 8. Sumatran Rhinoceros This rhino is the real deal. They have a few names though. The Sumatran Rhinoceros is also known as the Hairy Rhinoceros or Asian Two-Horned Rhinoceros. However, Malaysia's last male Sumatran rhinoceros, Tam, unfortunately has died. Discovered poking around an oil palm plantation in 2008, Tam was captured and transferred to an animal reserve in Malaysia. Efforts to breed him with two female rhinos, Puntung, captured in 2011, and Iman, captured in 2014, proved unsuccessful. Iman is now the nation's sole remaining member of its species in Malaysia. 
Sumatran rhinos are so few, in fact, experts now believe isolation is the single biggest threat to the species' continued existence. The Sumatran rhinoceros lives in both lowland and highland secondary rainforests, swamps, and cloud forests. It inhabits hilly areas close to parks, particularly steep upper valleys and copious undergrowth. The Karinki Sablat National Park, Sumatra's largest, was estimated to contain a population of around 500 rhinos in the 1980s, but due to poaching, this population is now considered extinct. Say it ain't so! Number 7. Peruvian Spider Monkey In the Amazon forests of Brazil, Bolivia, and Peru, the black spider monkey has been known by its local name, Maki Sapa, or Maki equals hand, Sapa equals large, or large-handed monkey. The spider monkey is a key component of the ecosystems it inhabits, influencing the composition and function of these areas of forests and contributing to regeneration through its feeding habits and territorial range, which combine to make it an efficient dispenser of the seeds of several Amazon tree species. Helped by the fact that it only possesses a vestigial thumb, it's able to travel through the forest canopy by swinging from one branch to another, using only its arms. This adaption makes the spider monkey the most agile of the many monkey species that inhabit the range. It can be spotted feeding during the day in the high forest canopy. Although spider monkeys tend to live in groups of up to 35 individuals, it's unusual for such large gatherings to be seen. Their constant vocalizations employed to warn of danger and in bonding behavior means they're often heard before they're seen. Busted, but worth a closer look indeed. Number 6. Vaquita, the world's rarest marine mammal. The world's smallest porpoise, vaquitas, measure up to 5 feet long and weigh up to 120 pounds. So it's still kind of big. Just saying. The vaquita's unique facial markings of a black ring around each eye and black curved lips have been compared to a smiling panda. Vaquitas only live in the northern end of Mexico's Gulf of California. Little is known about the life history of this species. A survey released recently estimated the vaquita population was as low as 30 individuals. An all-time low for the porpoise, the population is half of what it was just the year before. Unsustainable and illegal fishing practices are the main drivers pushing vaquita to extinction, particularly due to bycatch from illegal fishing. Vaquitas share waters with the much sought after totoabo fish and fishing nets inadvertently catch and drown the porpoise. Demand for the totoaba swim bladders, believed to cure a variety of illness and diseases in Eastern medicine, is driving the vaquita to extinction. The swim bladders are often illegally smuggled over the U.S. border and then shipped overseas. Number 5. Hainan Gibbon Almost impossible to see up close. The entire population of about 28 individuals are located in a small fragment of suboptimal forest of Hainan Island in the South China Sea. So rare. Hainan Gibbon are classified as apes. Apes are humans' closest living relatives. In fact, we shared a common ancestor with gibbons as recently as 16.8 million years ago. The majority of gibbon species are monogamous. A male and female will pair and mate for life and have offspring every two to four years. Hainan gibbons are polygynous, however. This means the family is made up of a male and two or more breeding females. The largest Hainan gibbon family ever recorded had 11 individuals. The reason for polygyny are still not fully understood in this species, but the small population, lack of new mates, and limited habitat space could provide an explanation for this social system. Gibbons are the Adele of the animal world. All 20 species are famous for their haunting species-specific songs that they use to communicate with other gibbons, to maintain territorial boundaries, advertise to potential mates, and enhance family bonds. Number 4. Amur Leopard Now for the amazing Amur. People usually think of leopards in the savannas of Africa and not in the Russian Far East. The Amur Leopard is also known as the Far East Leopard. The Manchurian Leopard or the Korean Leopard and can run at speeds of up to 37 miles per hour. This incredible animal has been reported to leap more than 19 feet horizontally and up to 10 feet vertically. Not many people ever see an Amur Leopard in the wild. Not surprising, as there are so few of them, but a shame considering how beautiful they are. Thick, luscious, black-ringed coats and huge furry tails, they can wrap around themselves to keep warm. The good news is, having been driven to the edge of extinction, their numbers appear to be rising thanks to conservation work. 
We're also able to survey more areas than before and use camera traps to estimate population changes. The Amur leopard is a nocturnal animal that lives and hunts alone. The latest population census taken in 2017 suggests there are now around 100 individuals, not nearly enough. Number 3. The Kermode Bear What's your spirit animal? They say everybody has one, neither albino nor polar bear. The spirit bear, also known as the Kermode Bear, is a white variant of the North American black bear, and it's found almost exclusively in the Great Bear Rainforest, 25,000 square miles, one and a half times as big as Switzerland, down Canada's western coast. Geneticists learned that the Kermode bear's coloration results from a maturation in a gene involved in the production of melanin. The trait is recessive. Both parents must carry a copy of the mutated gene for their offspring to be white. In the Great Bear Rainforest, some 500 to 1,200 black bears might be carriers, but no one really knows how many bears there are in the Great Bear Rainforest. The Kermode bear definitely sticks out though. The white bear has been known to the local indigenous community as the spirit or ghost bear for thousands of years. They revere every living thing, but the Kermode bear is especially sacred. It's one of the rarest bears on earth. There are as few as 100 according to some estimates. Number 2. Narwhal Now for these mythical beasts. The noble narwhal. Narwhals are related to bottlenose dolphins, belugas, harbor porpoises and orcas. Like some other porpoises, they travel in groups and feed on fish, shrimp, squid and other aquatic fare. Incredibly, the narwhal's only visible tooth is outside of its mouth. Its tusk, in fact, is a giant canine tooth that can grow as long as 9 feet with a distinct left-hand spiral covered in a tissue called cementum, normally only found around the base of a tooth lodged in bone. The Unicorns of the Sea The tusks have sensory capability and up to 10 million nerve endings inside, so they're practically magic, right? The Norwal was written about by Jules Verne in his 1870 novel 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Herman Melville wrote a section on the narwhal in his 1851 novel Moby Dick in which he claims a narwhal tusk hung for a long period in Windsor Castle after it was given to Queen Elizabeth. Another claim he made was that the Danish kings made their thrones from narwhal tusks. Very Game of Thrones. Number 1. The Siberian Tiger Now the best for last. The ultra-rare Siberian Tiger. The Tungusic people consider the Siberian tiger a deity and often refer to it as grandfather or old man. The Siberian tiger is used in heraldic symbols throughout the area where it's indigenous. Now they live primarily in eastern Russia's birch forests, though some exist in China and North Korea. Though their northern climate is far harsher than those of other tigers, these animals have some advantages. Northern forests offer the lowest human density of any tiger habitat, and the vast woodlands also allow Siberian tigers far more room to roam. Today, this population inhabits mainly the Sakota Alin mountain region in the Russian Far East. The population had been stable for more than a decade because of intensive conservation efforts, but partial surveys conducted after 2005 indicate that the Russian tiger population was declining. As of 2014, about 35 individuals were estimated to range in the international border area between Russia and China. Get online and see how you can help. Save the Siberian Tiger. Seriously. Those were 15 wild animals that have rarely ever been seen. Thanks for watching.